SN. Well, we talked about the fact that three of the players this week haven't been here before. Garth Bauer is another newcomer. Michael Squires, one previous appearance, that was last year, lost in the preliminary. So it's Squires against Bauer. Let's see who will move on and play Wally Bridget. Sets up. Four-step approach. Throws a relatively straight ball. Just straighten that one up. Get it back over on the hip pin someplace. Try to convert this spare. Close. Oh, yeah. Good start for Michael Squires out of Gatineau, Quebec. Garth Bauer is from Swift Current. Garth now, three step approach, backhand, or back up. And he'll pick up the first frame at $50. Backhand for calling it a backhand, it's a back up ball. So, release. So just let the ball go. You're going to flip your wrist clockwise at delivery. Hopefully, have the ball tracked down on the great path moving left to right. So you can set it up again now. No. He thought it might have a chance, but just punches it. the frame. You want to pick up the 15 sticks here now. Good job on that side. Coming off his strike in the first. Big shot now. Don't make it easy. Force your opponent to throw a mark and bang. And yeah, it's easy. easy. Yeah. So you strike and then you throw a 10. Michael Squires, chance here to pick up a frame, and will. Nice ball. Michael Squires out of Gatineau, Quebec, has been here before. Garth Bauer from Swift Current, Saskatchewan, making his pins debut. This is our second preliminary on the third week of play, and they split the first two frames, and Squires with a strike here in three. This one down the lane, good stroke through it. That was slow-mo. <laughs> Swift current on the Trans-Canada. Right to near the Alberta border. Quickly with pressure on Bauer, oh, very nice. Boy, oh boy, that just sort of just tumbled across the prairie to get that left corner. Actually, you just got them to collapse on there, head their way, round them up, Knock him down, match up the frame, and we're carrying over, playing for fifty dollars a frame, so fourth is worth a hundred dollars. So Bauer now throws a backup ball. Expect to see it move down the lane, track in moving left to right on the good working shot when he releases it properly. He's played in the uh, national team level. Oh my! Wow! Look at, Look at that! I mean, that's over the edge. What a rough break! Huge, huge shot. He's got it right into the right-hand pocket. Drills it. Watch his pin move now. Look at that. I mean, inch and a half, inch and three quarters. Look at that. It's over the edge. Exactly. Pinning, pinning, pinning again. Guys, corner spear missed. And we're on a carryover frame mm -hmm. on top of it. He got his 15. He does. It sets up any mark. Squires is a former YBC national champion. Still has a chance to win the two frames, the hundred dollars. 
Now, much tougher spare than just the single pin. Yeah, you, you say that the tendency here is to punch the three out. Why is that? It's there. You hit that thing square on, it's going straight back. Not this time. Not this time. time, exactly. So he picks up, Michael Squires gets the two frames and the hundred dollars, and he's up three frames to one. And now gets to lead off in the fifth, and here's where he can really, really put the screws down on Garth Brower. Oops, split now. Lots of uh, national experience for Michael. He's played in the old TSN pins game, the Youth Classic. He's been in the championship series, was a runner-up there. And now, lure the trouble. Can't get 15 now in all likelihood. Throws a strong enough ball, though, that he could get one of those pins to kick off back there and carry the other one, but highly unlikely. And now he's only scored 11 on the frame. After a very solid start with two spares, two strikes. Garth Bauer strikes in one and three. Had the head pin in two, left corner in four that he had the miscue for the spare on. But it's all over the middle. Very nice. Well, seizes the opportunity. Garth Bauer, who uh, is the manager of an A&W in Swift Current. Brings out the A ball with a shot. Perfect. Now, he sets this up. Gets over a little bit to the right side of the approach as he lines up. Drifts a fraction towards the left side through the approach and tracks it right back onto the middle. Back to back. So good recovery now after that left corner miss. Back in four. Throws consecutive strikes in five and six. Picks up the fifth frame. Forces a strike here. Boom! Like rain, it came down and clobbered that left corner. This one was more like thunder. Watch this go. Up, where does it go? It disappears and just comes down from the clouds. Absolutely. Great strike. So, good carryover. Both players hitting the middle in each of their shots. Michael, his one miscue back in the first frame, set it back perfect on the middle. Got to look at the full shots, too. Now back to back for the project officer for Revenue Canada, Michael Squires. Good lift on this. Low at the finish. Comes in with a solid hit on the middle. Great action and forces Bauer to respond with nothing but a strike. Needs it. Needs it. And he pulled it. Yep. And so the two frames and the $100 to Michael Squires. So quickly now, Michael Squires with five frames in the bank. Whoops. Got some pin count there. Frustration setting in. He's lost both carryover frames that have been presented. But there are three frames left to go. He's down a lot in pinfall. Has to start throwing some strikes here. Without throwing another shot, Michael Squires has 179 right now. That's not going to help him either. So Garth's first miscue on the middle in the seventh. And now drives it straight on the nose as he leads off eight. Okay, good job on pinning on the right side now. One more chance. He counts 15 here. We have 163 through eight frames. over at the scoreboard and sees that he's in trouble. 
real trouble. Yeah, he is. One shot. And Squires can advance with a mark. Oh my. Well, see so you now that at 15 that uh, Bauer picked up, all important here. And Michael Squires with the speed and such that he throws. He's the kind of guy you could see spare this. Really? Just kicking that with the three over? And give it a shot. Oh! Like I say, he just <laughs> kicks it around so hard. And he was at the point in the match where it didn't hurt for him to try. Try it. Yeah. So now looking for the, uh, the corner to force a carryover. Huge pinfall at the He got the 15 pins. He's got 215 through the eighth frame as compared with Garth Bowers' 163. He's but got the five frames already. But Bauer's still alive. I mean, he, Bauer could pick something up. I mean, is it it's conceivable Bauer could still win? I mean, if he rattles out, right? Absolutely. He's got a 253 potential. He's got to strike out to get that. Michael Squires, though, right now, 215, two frames to play. Bounce that ball. Watch out. There is a break that he didn't want to get. That spare is so much tougher right now. Watch as it kicks off. Here's the kind of action he gets off the sidewall. Spinning pin right into the three pin. Right. Bang. Now how do you play this? Do you try to kick it over or the ball? His, to come his over? speed, you want to get it, you want to get the ball over to the right side right. of the hit pin to drill it across. It's gonna be an open frame for him. So as he's rolling along now, this cuts his pinfall lead a little bit. Garth Bauer. Must start striking, however, because back-to-back -back opens, 15 count, sits at 230 through 9. Now, Bauer has the chance. Absolutely. It's not over by any stretch of the imagination. He's got to throw a strike, though. He's got to get that pinfall coming back. The best he can do is win five frames. Try to carry the frame. Disappointing for him. Exactly. Okay? But just not quite as disappointing as when they stop the, the car hops coming out of the a &W to serve you at the window. <laughs> that may be the most disappointing thing. Where, where you turn the lights on? That's right. You know when they stopped hanging the, the, the mother root beer on the window? That was disappointing. Still got the frosty mugs though. That's kind of nice. And the whistle bug. Disappointing too that he misses out on the on the carryover that goes to Squires. Chop off now to lead off ten. It's a very very disappointing finish. Head pin in eight, head pin in nine. Very very expensive. Michael Squires allowing him to get back in by throwing split, but just a tough tough finish for Garth Bauer. He was again going early in the match. Covers the spare now. Can force Michael Squires into throwing a double if he can throw a strike here. Pick up another $50 if that should occur. Two or five, the final result. Michael requiring a double now. Got the first one. Yep. So much better than his performance in 2004. Right corner. And we both 196, won $200 that year. Needs to cover the spare to split this frame. Already sitting at 258 would be a 260 game, and it is. Very nice. So they'll split the final frame of Michael Squires. And he takes one more step. And he did a year ago when he lost the preliminaries out of Gatineau, Quebec. 
He wins $375, and Michael Squires advances now. And he'll play Wally Bridget to see who becomes our third qualifier in five-pin play here in Calgary.